Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, back in my French jeet with some more cider to try. We have some more cider to try. It's from Normandy this time. I did a review yesterday, I just wrote one very briefly. It wasn't a great review to be honest. Just posted it on Instagram of a cider that I tried that was not great, didn't like it very much. Compared it to another one that I bought the same day from a larger producer, Screw Cap. You know, it was like 170 a litre or whatever. And, uh, and in the comments afterwards, a guy from Le Jérôme Cider, based in Belgium, so a cider maker in Belgium, said, quote thing, you would never sell this cider that cheap. He said, there's lots of cider makers in France who are on the verge of bankruptcy because they're forced to sell their, their, their cider, their apples so cheap by the cooperatives. It's very interesting. And it's not unique to cider. I mean, it happens all over the place. I mean, supermarkets do the same things with so many things. Have you ever thought about why milk, a bottle of milk is cheaper than a bottle of mineral water? When milk's cheaper than water, you've got to start asking questions. There's somebody who worked in the dairy industry for a long time. I'm, I'm acutely aware of this kind of problem. So, yeah, it was a, a great post from him, a response rather. And I, I very much appreciate it. It was very interesting. Anyway, let's hope tonight's not quite so. Um, cheap. I mean, it's not super expensive, but it was certainly more expensive than the stuff I had yesterday. And it's from uh, Livero, so the Calvados region, in fact. It's Ecusson. This is a, um, so it's still a quite a big producer, to be fair. I'm going to try and stop in Caen when we're back in Normandy and pick up some uh, some smaller, sort of fermier products. But this is what I'll be able to get locally. I mean, the Loire. The Loire is wine country. We couldn't give a chin about cider particularly, so I'm just getting what I can get, okay? So that's why I'm doing these sorts of tastings. Verger responsable. So there you go. So responsible orchards, and I think that. So this has got a protection on it, but it's um, it's I G P rather than O P. So it's a bit looser than an O P. I think they get their apples within like a hundred. Seventy-five percent of their apples come within within one hundred kilometres of the, of, the, of the cidery. So obviously they get their stuff you know, from far and wide. It's still within a sort of dedicated region around Brittany. But um, certainly not, it's not their own orchards by any stretch of the imagination, but most of them are uh, organic and actually they're pushing by 2022 to have all organic orchards producing the apples for the ciders. So these guys are doing something a little bit better, at least. Let's see if that makes any difference whatsoever. So Liberal, there is also cheese called Liberal, which I haven't got any to have with this, which I would have liked. But no matter, no matter. Let's open this mother and try it. <clears throat> How fizzy it's going to be? Yeah. Nice pop, not too much. Smoking gun, there you go. Dark bottle, can't see the colour. Let's hope it's got some colour though. So Cornwall is the stuff I've been trying most of and that's got a real character to it, a real sort of tannic character I've discovered. Um, and it's actually the only AOP in, Brit in um, Brittany for cider. The rest you can have IGP and so forth, but not AOP, so it's, it's the only one with the highest level of protection, which is really interesting, I think. So there you go, this has got a nice colour though. It's not quite as amber as the stuff we had recently. It's not quite as iron brew slash tizer as the stuff we had recently. We've still got a decent colour. Not too fizzy. There was a bit of a pop. Nothing light as aggressively fizzy as the one the other day. Of which I can't remember the name because I've forgotten about it because it was... Oh no, which one was that? Which one was that? I can't remember. What was that one that we had? I can't remember. Tried too many ciders. Forget I mentioned it. Right, let's sniff it. Quite subtle, bit of apple. Again, I'm getting a hint of. So this is Normandy, not Brittany. So it's the first Norman side we've had, I think, since we've been here. But I'm at getting that sort of like slightly sort of uh, caramelised uh, apple, baked apple, sugar, etc. Hints of stone fruit. But I'm getting a little bit of melon again, and I got that in the last one as well. But actually, there is a hint of sort of like softness, sort of creamy pastry element to it, which is delicate. But it still, it does smell not intensely like a rich dessert, but it does smell dessert-like, if you like. Let's try it. So 5.5. This would qualify as brew. It isn't that sweet. It has tannin. Decent tannin, actually, on the, uh, on the front. So, like, a... Uh, Soft tannin, astringency, we like that. It's very light in character. Nothing light is bodacious. <laughs> I don't know why I want to say that word. It's not as bodacious as um, the sort of Breton side that we've had. We seem to have a much a slightly darker character for my money, I think. 
um, even the ones which aren't Cornwall, which have that slightly more hard tanning, I want to say. I think the, the normally side tend to be a little bit lighter, but this is Yeah, actually, it's pretty good. It's quite delicate. It's quite light, but it does have a hint of like, oh, I'm not quite sure how to describe it. It does. You cannot. You can almost. You can feel the tannin, but it has almost like a. I'm not saying metallic or mineral structure to it, which I really like. I feel like there's hints of like. It feels like this has got a wild yeast. You know, it's not fruit forward. There's more, not quite savoury, but there's a deeper, darker kind to it. Even though it's quite you know, light and refreshing. It's actually pretty good this and there is a hint of that kind of watermelon character as well I'm getting which actually I kind of like. Um, I tend to like my uh, normally side is a bit more ta 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 than this. This is a much lighter option um, but it's actually pretty good. It, it's pretty good. It kicks the ass of the one we had I had yesterday and wrote about and didn't like it all. Much better than that. It's light, palatable but actually it's still pretty tasty. I could do with a bit more richness but yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Um, so there you go. Don't know how many more tastes I'm going to get in. I'm going to try and stop on the way back, as I said, and get some more farmhouse stuff to bring back. I want to try and get some Dom Form Poire as well, some Perry, which I don't think I've ever had, which has got an ALC and Hill is like a fabulous region for Perry, or one of the best regions for Perry. In fact, one of the only protected regions for Perry. But yeah, here you go, Ecusson. Ecusson, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, quite light, but actually pretty tasty. If it's a hot day, you want something that tastes good, but it isn't too rich, I would absolutely go for this. It's 5.5%, so relatively speaking, it packs more of a punch than anything else we've had. And it is drier, I would say, than a lot of stuff we've had. It's been in the 4.5. Alright guys, thank you for joining me in my jeet. I hope you join me again, wherever that may be. But until then, cheers.